What's going on everyone? AD here. Welcome back to more Kinshi. In the previous episode, man, it was crazy. Uh, we barely got out of the swamps, but we made our way back from Shark all the way up uh, to the hub, and then we uh, got ourselves some replacement limbs at the High Village. And then from there, we headed all the way southeast down here where we established our first outpost called Moonshine, and uh, we're still working on it right now. we still got a lot of work to do, but uh, this is a really pretty good spot down here. But our, uh, the main idea is that we're going to be doing some farming and also doing some illegal activities by making moon, uh, Moonshine and Hashish. So that should be quite fun. If you guys want to see more Kinchi in the future, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new episodes. But yeah, the, the, last, uh, the last episode was pretty insane. We had a, a couple people lose their limbs. So uh, Apple, I think, uh, got herself a left arm. And uh, Night Fury got a right arm. And Lady Sharky uh, also has a right leg. So you can see here, she's got just kind of uh, a leg that's not even a full leg. It's kind of like a peg leg, to be honest. And that's the funny thing about uh, the Hivers is that they sell kind of like knockoff products. You know, they're kind of like just selling knockoffs, like half-assed things. Um, so they're not, definitely not the best... Uh, race to buy stuff from, but uh, we'll be getting ourselves some better robot uh, robotic replacements in the future. Um, I had to import the game, so we are back at the day one again, but we're at uh, version 98.20, so hopefully uh, it's a stable version. We'll see how, how things go. But yeah, we're, we're doing pretty well here, just uh, making some stone, uh, or uh, building materials rather so that we can build out the rest of these walls. I want to build all these walls and make them come around the swamp area right here so that we can just put some farms in the swamp part. And that should be it. Um, actually, though, I think about it. Let me just see. If we build... Um, yeah, the environment is swamp. So we might be able to put the farms right here cause, since it's considered swamp. But I don't have rice weed. Uh researched yet so I can't quite tell where we're gonna build the research uh, the the farms for it so we have to wait until we get rice weed uh, researched so we need to bring Darth actually he got he got wounded in the last episode but we're gonna bring him up here and drop off his rice weed put that in there so we can research what is that wheat uh, oh that's hemp okay yeah we'll put all that in there so that um, crazy lizard can get to work uh, researching Actually, let's throw the uh, research books in there, too. And if we go to Crazy Lizard, we should be able to go to farming and... Yeah, there we go. Rice weed farming. And let's do hemp farming as well. All right, so that's going to take uh, probably about 10 hours till he gets to rice weed farming. So we'll let Crazy Lizard do his thing. In the meantime, we need Darth to come over here and uh, cook us some food. Because uh, we're starving. Again, everybody's starving. But we won't have to do this for too much longer. Alright, come here, Darth. Drop all this food in. Let's get, uh, let's get cooking. Just like that. Boom. Alright. And Darth wants to get back to work. Uh, we've got a lot of beak things. Uh, oh, we got a beak thing over here fighting a ton of hungry bandits. They don't stand a chance. They're gonna get their asses beat. But uh, I gave uh, I gave Night Fury a new outfit. I gave him the Drifter's leather jacket and some of this other stuff that we acquired from that Darth got from looting a dude. So he kind of looks pretty boss right now with that red hair. But uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna have to put. Hold on, let me get. I gotta get Apple down. Apple is pretty wounded here. Uh, let me just put her down. She can she can walk. Oh, Apple wants to go back in mine. Yeah, all right, that's fine. Um, yeah, we need as many people as possible over here working on this thing. Actually, though, we're missing one person. Let's get Night Fury off the stone mine and put him on here. We need as many people as possible making building materials. And then we'll get Torquinator finishing out the walls here, but... Uh, yeah, we need to research rice weed first. 
And yeah, my le my uh, right leg is damaged pretty bad, so we're just kind of hanging out for now. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get some more building materials because we're gonna need those for uh, what we're gonna be building next. But uh, yeah, we'll just rest up for a little bit here. Well, I see some tw uh, swamp turtles in the distance. I think maybe we should try to take those out. All right, let me get over there. Come here. Uh, let's see. Let's get somebody else over here fighting. Uh, let's get Mr. Killer. Me and Mr. Killer will take them down. Yeah, let's run over there and grab that, because we're going to need some more food, I think, for a little while. It's going to take us a little bit to, uh, to get the farms going. So, definitely going to need some food before... Uh, before that happens. Uh, Night Fury wants to come and help. It's alright, just, uh, just hang tight. I kind of wish they would bring back the passive button, so that we could keep people passive. So that this stuff wouldn't happen. I guess we could put everyone on hold, but then it kind of defeats the purpose because, like, you don't want people to just stand still. You want people to actually, like, run and fight enemies, but not, I don't know. I guess hold works as well. It's fine. Don't let the swap turtle get away. <laughs> Everybody and their brothers coming out to help now. Come on, take it down. There you go. Get that thing. Oh. Can we get it in the water? Oh, it lucky. Lucky turtle, man. All right. Let's have Darth come over here and grab the rest of that. <laughs> okay, let's go over here and get him. Can't run from me. Get him, Darth. Oh, damn. <laughs> I right, kind of flipped up. All right. Nice. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get back to base. Oh, okay, it looks like Torquinator is back uh, doing his thing. Okay, good. Yeah, we got five building materials. Uh, we have another materials trader on their way uh, from the Hive Village. So this is actually really nice because then we'll be able to get some more building materials and build out... Uh, the rest of our walls, if possible. We gotta get... I wanna make sure that our... Let's actually put Crazy Lizard on hold. Um, but yeah, I wanna get the rice weed farming done. Alright, Torquinator has finished the walls, so we don't have to worry uh, about that for right now. Which is really good. Um, we got plenty of building materials for right now. And yeah, Torquinator, I don't know why he wants to keep resting, but his right leg is... Uh, pretty damaged. Um, it has wear damage, so we're gonna have to get that repaired with a skeleton repair bed uh, at some point. All right, we have finished rice weed farming. I went ahead and, and uh, changed the queue up a little bit so that we were doing the farming pr stuff first instead of the crossbow stuff, since it's gonna take a little bit longer. Um, so now, if we go into the farming, uh, let's see, we should have rice weed. There we go. Okay. Oh, this is awesome. Look at this. This is considered swamp right here. Wow. Oh, this is great. We don't even have to go... Uh, we don't even have to have a farm out here, to be honest. We could just go right in inside this little area. Because um, this is the biome border right here. So arid and then swamp. However, it's a little, uh, a little small. Um, we kind of need to expand this a little bit so that we can build out a little bit larger. So we actually don't need these walls. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to dismantle these walls here and then build some new ones. Let's actually just build this out a little bit. Let's dismantle this. 
And let's see, where are we going to put these farms? Over here? I guess over on the right. Or on the left. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. Let me just dismantle this and just go out a little bit further with it. Yeah, let's just go straight out like this and then come around. Give, our, give ourselves a little bit more room here. There we go. Just a little bit extra uh, room. And then we can do the same thing over on this side. Yeah, we can just bring that, extend that out just a little bit. So now we have a little bit more room down here. So we can do a little bit of something. Maybe put another building or a couple farms if we need to. But yeah, it's just uh, expanded a little bit. Kind of like an octagon or something. I don't know, it looks kind of cool. But yeah, we'll get Twerkinator working on that. Um, shouldn't take long. We also got the hive guys coming, so... Let me just drop all the building materials in the walls so it'll be a little bit faster to build it. And free up some room because Torquinator is going to need that room for uh, to buy some more supplies from these guys when they get here. And there's also tons of building materials on the ground. Wow. So we actually probably don't need that many to begin with. But I found that if you go around and just uh, um, add all of the building supplies to the wall, then it makes it really quick to just have an engineer run around and build everything. But yeah, pick up all these building materials first. There we go. Alright. That's yeah, a little bit better. Looks like they're going to just sneak around our walls and come inside. That's okay. And then we actually probably don't even need these walls, but I think I'll probably leave it like this. So we'll create like a funnel and maybe we can put some turrets here so that we can shoot people uh, coming in. Uh, that would be kind of cool. We have wares for you, no hive. All right. Uh, Alright, come talk to him, Twerkinator. Alright, you got... Oh, let's grab some med kits, because we probably need those. And, oh, look at this, cactus. We need that hemp. Oh, we need all of that. Uh, let's see. Um, grab the... Grab the cactus. We're gonna need a bunch of that. Uh, Lady Sharky, Amistein, Mr. Killer. Everybody get down here. We're gonna need all that. Get rid of this junk. There we go. Alright, that's good. And then uh, we'll just stock up everyone here. On some wheat. Alright, we have 10 wheat, so I don't think we need any more than that. So we'll just get Torquinator finishing the walls, and we're gonna start planting some stuff here. Uh, let's see. We're gonna go with... Let's just go straight for a farm. Let's see, we're gonna do a cactus farm. And, as you can see, the material cost goes up depending on um, which size farm you're gonna be doing. So you can start with a small farm and then you can upgrade your farm later. So you don't have to worry about that. It's just, uh, you need 10, uh, 10 materials or 10 plants or whatever first uh, to build the first small farm. But yeah, we're going to do one cactus farm, I think, for right now. Alright, one cactus farm, and then where are we going to put the weed farm? Alright, so we'll put the weed farm there. And, let's see, what other... Do we have any other farms that we can build? Alright, that's good enough for now. Alright, so we're going to have Darth actually run back down to Shark, because we need more rice weed so that we can plant that. Uh, so I'm going to have him on a mission to run back to Shark while Torquinator finishes up the walls. Then we're going to build some other buildings here so that we can um, start storing food and storing supplies. Darth has made it to uh, Shark. So we're going to have to go over here to this uh, farmer and buy 
Buy some more rice weed. Or merchant, I guess I should say. <laughs> Come on, Darth, get in there. Hopefully he's there. Like, the bartender in the last episode took the day off. <laughs> he wasn't there. I couldn't find him. All right, eight, eight rice weed. That's great. That's probably enough to get started. And do we need more? Might buy a couple more electrical components because I have a feeling we're going to need those. And do we need fabrics? I'm going to buy more fabrics too. Because you never really know. Let's see, we've got... I think we have enough hemp. But I'll buy two more hemp, just in case. And yeah, that... Oh, we need more research books. Oh, we can't afford any more. Okay, so we're basically out of money. Um, okay, well, that's all we can do then. So Darth will have to run back and... Then we'll be able to plant the rice weed farm and get get some farming uh, going, but we're going to have to build some other buildings as well so that we can store um, all of the stuff that we grow, uh, or I'm sorry, all of the uh, <laughs> all of the plants that we uh, harvest, basically. So we still have quite a few things to, to build. Darth has finally made it back to base. Back to moonshine. Finally. All right. This is going to be good. Can't wait to do some farming. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's see what we can plant here. If we go into farming, we should be able to do rice weed small farm. And, oh, okay, yeah, we have, we have it available right down here. So, let's see, do we want to keep all the farms on one side? I guess we could just, we'll put those two on that side. We'll put the, the rice weed on this side. Let me get Torquinator out of the way first. And yeah, we'll put a small rice weed farm here. Alright, we'll confirm that. Darth, why don't you get over there and put everything in. There we go. We finally got our rice weed, uh, our small rice weed farm built. That's great. So we're gonna need some. Uh, we're gonna need a well, of course. That's gonna be the next thing. We also need some more buildings. Okay, so we got the farms there. What other buildings can we build here? Stormhouse again. Um, Stormhouse is pretty much the best kind of house we can do right now. But when we build another base, we'll we'll make it. Uh, we'll get another variety going. But I guess we'll put another storm house right outside of the um, little farm there. And we'll probably put another storm house up here. Because we got the farms right there. Yeah, we'll put another one right up here. So we'll get two more buildings going. And we also need a well. Uh, but we also need power. We need a wind generator. That's going to be key. And I guess we'll put a wind generator over here in the corner. Let's throw one over there for now. We're just going to build one. And I think uh, Darth has some materials that we can use for that. Because it needs electrical components, doesn't it? Ooh, it needs copper. Which we don't have, I don't think, at the moment. Uh, we gotta go mine that. Alright, Mr. Killer. Why don't you go outside and mine us some copper? Let's see. What's the closest node from here? I guess that one over here. Alright, we'll get Mr. Killer out there and we'll get Yefflin out there as well. So we'll both assign them to the job. Get us some copper. And we need iron plates for that, so I think Torquinator has iron plates, so let's have him get to work on this. There we go. And we might actually... Oh, wait, we need a... We're gonna need an iron resource. 
Yeah, that was the reason why I wanted to build out here, because of the iron resource. I forgot about that. Yeah, because we want that enclosed so that people aren't getting attacked. So we're probably going to have to build walls around it, now that I think about it. Okay, I had to kind of delete some walls here to get this to work, but basically, uh, this is what I've got. I've got it kind of wrapping around the, the, uh, the node here, and just kind of coming right back up, so... Um... We can build out a few things in here. So it's kind of like what I originally said, like kind of like a figure eight, sort of, but uh, more ugly. <laughs> but yeah, this this should be fine. So we just need Twerkinator to uh, fix this up. But yeah, then we can protect ourselves out here so we're not getting attacked. Our miners aren't getting attacked when we're not looking. Alright, Torquinator is finally putting on the finishing touches of the last wall. So we should have this enclosed. And now we'll be able to mine the iron uh, with no problems. It, unfortunately, it's, it's all the way out there. Uh, so we'll probably have to put a building here or something so that we can store it. Because they're, it's just too far away for them to store it if we were to build the storage... Uh, um, container up here uh, because they do have a range when you're building stuff so that's what one thing you have to keep in mind when you're building uh, different buildings and stuff is kind of plan out your city ahead of time because you won't um, you definitely need to uh, put everything that is going to use like if you're going to build uh, like cooking for instance you need to put everything in one building so that you have it close by um, so you're going to want your building next to like a wheat farm because um, you use some wheat in cooking and, and various other things. So just kind of plan out your city. And there is kind of like a, a learning period um, for some of these things. So you just have to kind of play it by ear. But let's see, Mr. Killer has some wheat. So let's put put the wheat in the farm here. Where is it? And yeah, I think Amos, uh, Lady Sharky has some. Just kind of get rid of their inventory space there. There we go. And, oh, this is hemp. Uh, we don't have a hemp farm yet, do we? Uh, hemp is arid as well, so we can... Actually, hemp is swamp. This is perfect. We'll put that one over here as well. We'll put some hemp. There we go. So we'll have rice weed and hemp. Nice. Okay, and we also have cactus, so let's put that over here. Which, uh, oh, I think we already did. Okay. Um, Night Fury has a ton of wheat. Let's drop all that wheat in here. There we go. That's enough to finish the wheat farm. Yeah, let's see, what else? Uh, I think we have in the research bench, we have the the rest of the hemp. So let's have Darth grab that. And we might not have enough. Oh, don't tell me we need one. Oh, wow, just one off. Damn it, all right, so we're gonna have to wait and get some more hemp. Uh, we need one more hemp. Alright, so we can wait for a, a traveling trader, that's no problem. The only thing is we're out of money, so we're going to need to make some money somehow. Uh, let's see, where are we? Might need to steal some stuff. One thing I need to do is get a skeleton, a uh, thief backpack. Yeah, I might sell some of these skeleton repair kits and also buy some more buy some new ones. Let's see, Darth. Let's see, do we have any at all? No. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, Crazy Lizard has a bunch. Okay, so that's fine. I'm gonna go and sell what I have then and make some money and maybe steal a few more things. So, let me go ahead. I'm just gonna trade with Darth, give him my, uh, my equipment. And, yeah, I'll sell all of this. And I'll try to steal some more skeleton repair kits. 
so that we can at least make enough money to get get the rest of the stuff we need for our farm. So the cool thing about this, though, is we can leave this gate open. We don't even have to close it. All right, so let's see. I need to I need to go to Squin. I think I can steal some stuff from Squin. So I'm gonna run down there. Everybody else, just keep doing your thing. We are gonna need to store some building materials and stuff, but we gotta get this building up first. So that's gonna be kind of like the next thing. I've made it over here to Squin, and we should be able to sell some stuff in here, since uh, since I had to import the. They're no longer mad at me <laughs> for stealing from their town, so this is kind of just the uh, easiest place to go to. But if I get caught again, they're probably not going to want to sell to me. But for now, we're going to just kind of go with it. Greetings, customer. Alright, let's go ahead and just sell all this. Just sell all of it. Oh, I didn't want to sell the splint kit, to be honest. Uh... Let me buy that back. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, oh, we need research books. Oh, I, I think I remember we have a bunch in our... Um, we have a bunch in our house in the swamps. So we'll. I think maybe I'll stop down at the swamp village and grab them. I don't know how many there were, though. So I'll probably buy a few or steal a few. But I'm going to have to wait until nighttime. And then uh, see if I can sneak in. I'm going to try to break into the armor shop. And grab another piece of armor so that we can kind of outfit one of our guys with another piece and maybe two pieces and then get the rest of skeleton kits which I think are gonna be in this building here uh, yeah they should have them perfect so I'll get them from there and we should be good to go I'll probably get some med kits too all right well it's nighttime so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can steal something in here I don't know why the door's open, but, uh... Is there a guy there? Oh, there is. Okay. Damn. Okay, hold on a minute, though. He's facing that way. Let me see if I can sneak by him. Oh, <laughs> I snuck by him. Alright, let's see. Let's see if he detects me. Okay, hold on. Let me take off my limb should be able to uh, pick this safe. Alright, this guy is... Oh, he closed the door. Alright, oh. Don't see me, don't see me. Okay. He doesn't see me. Oh, man, I am so lucky. <laughs> I was kind of hiding under the stairs, though. I have pretty good stealth. Let's see, my stealth is 63. So that kind of gives you an idea what kind of level you need your stealth at so you're not seen by people. But anything over 60 is pretty good. Um, but my, my actual stealth is 75. But anyway, let's open this, uh, see if we can open this safe. Oh, wait a minute. Who's coming back? Somebody's coming down? Oh, that's weird. Like the uh, indicator was red for a minute. Alright, I've got the uh, safe open. And this is what we need right here. All these skeleton repair kits. This will give us enough money to uh, kind of tide us over and get the rest of our base built. So I'm just going to take all these. The stealing chase is 129%, so there's no way I'm going to get caught taking it. So that's perfect. Alright, let's. what's in this chest here? Another splint kit. Grab a couple more med kits. Alright, so that's enough splint kits, so let's get out of here. Huh, he locked the door behind me, so I'm gonna have to pick the lock to get out. Wow, that's pretty amazing. I got a lot to do in one night. I might not be able to get the armor since this dude is standing right there. And there's a light, a spotlight right on the door. So I'm just going to get out of here and I'm going to go over this way. Oh, we got a guard there though. Mm. This guy see me? That guy is not looking at me. 
Alright, I'm gonna pick the lock, see if he sees me, I don't know. Okay, face the other direction. Why is there a freaking, uh... <laughs> Why is there a pack beast in inside? And there's a freaking bull in here, too. What is going on? You guys are into some animal shit going on in here. Alright, oh, look at all these electrical components. Alright. Oh, they're gonna go through the door? No, let's just stay there. I have no idea what's going on, but you guys just grab this guy's attention. Alright, don't get caught, don't get caught. Alright, pick lock. Come on, let's get this safe. Alright, we got the safe, and there's more skeleton repair kits. Which I'm gonna take. And, oh, we got robotics components. Hmm. I really want to get the, uh, let's just see if we can get the research books. There we go. Let's take all of these. Okay, that's enough, I think. Enough research books. Let me get the robotics components. And that should be enough to... We're full up. We are full to go. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh oh. Okay, hopefully this guy doesn't see me. Alright. Peace out. Oh, what? How did they how did they catch me? I'm not even committing a crime. Oh well, they found me. <laughs> Damn, they don't like me anymore. Oh well. See you later, guys! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna run to the Hive Village and sell all this stuff. Yeah, we'll sell the robotics components and some of the skeleton repair kits, not all of them. And then we'll head back to base. I wanted to steal some armor, but... Um, that might have to... We'll probably have to buy the armor when we have a chance or make it. Um, but I just want to get our base finished because... I want to get into some farming and, and do some... Uh, sell the uh, the hashish and uh, illegal moonshine and stuff. I think that'll be fun. Because I haven't actually done that in this game. Um, so I think that'll be cool to do some smuggling. And that way we can make money from smuggling and we don't actually have to steal anything. We can make money other ways instead of just always resorting to stealing. So I'm just kind of stealing what we need to buy enough supplies for right now. Alright, we made it to the Hive Village. Let's go into the shop and sell. Ah, uh, I keep forgetting that um, I can't sell to Hive. I don't know why I forget to do that. Like, I, I keep forgetting that they won't... They won't buy from me. Damn it, what an... Another fail. <laughs> Alright, I gotta run back to... Uh, I'm gonna run back to our base then. And... Uh, we'll have to have somebody else sell this stuff. Well, back at our base, it looks like we've got some of these guys, uh, the hounds. Hold on, I'm getting attacked over here by something. Uh, what am I getting attacked by? Hungry bandit leader. I wonder if I can take these guys. What's my attack? Ten? Eh, let me see if I can get a couple swings in. I don't know what the guy, the hounds are doing at our base, but we'll have to see. They probably want to uh, extort or something. Let's take a look. Yeah, hounds. Hounds welcome. Alright. Uh, can't do two things at once. I might get killed here, though. Because... I have no armor. <laughs> I'm basically naked here. So, we'll see if I can win this battle. I gotta say though, the robotic limbs just look amazing. Come on, you got this. 
All right, I'm getting I'm getting hit pretty hard here. All right, time to bail. I'm not good enough. Not yet. All right, I can't do two things at once though. Hounds welcome has arrived. Okay. Um All right, I'm going to have to run to the Shinobi thieves up here. Kind of hang out for now. And I'll just put myself on hold. All right, let's go back to Darth real quick. And uh, let's talk to the hounds and see what they want. Where are they at? Okay, how'd they get in here? Big Grim ain't told us about any newcomers setting up around here. Okay, all right, come here, Darth. Let's talk to him. How did they get through my walls? That's what I want to know. I must have a uh, an opening somewhere. I gotta. I'll have to find it. I don't know exactly where that is. Uh, these guys are actually pretty good. Forty-one. All right. Let's talk to this guy. Where are you at? <laughs> nice little outpost you got. Could come in useful. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. I can't even talk to you. Would be a shame to see it set on fire by the Grey Flayers. You know, the only way to survive in these swamps is to join forces with another clan. Okay. Find ears. Uh, he'll be semi-conscious on Saki in the shark bar. Oh, okay. You want uh, in on the hounds, we'll watch your back. Oh, you're gonna watch my back, huh? Alright, if not, well, good luck on your own. Not every day uh, you get a personal invite from the hounds. Make the most of it, eh? Interesting. Alright, so these guys want me to go... Oh. Well, there's a hole in my wall. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, these guys want to um, want me to talk to this guy named Ears in uh, Shark, so we might go ahead and do that and see what what he wants. Um, all right, we're gonna have to dismantle this and fix it because it's uh, broken. And Twerkinator's been doing a good job over here building up these wall uh, these buildings. We almost have both buildings done. But we need Torquinator with, uh, we're gonna need one more building material over here. But, uh, meanwhile, let me go back to, uh, my character. It looks like, uh, the Shinobi Thieves helped me kill all of these guys. Thank goodness. And I'm just kind of hanging out with them. If I remember correctly, you can buy a, uh, Thief Backpack. Yeah, you can buy the Thieves' Backpack from them. I'm gonna do that, actually. Let me sell... I need to make up some room here. Um, this guy's got a black rag shirt. Ooh, a fog mask. Oh, that thing's amazing. 100% uh, to dust storms and gas. And it's... how much is it? 693. Wow, that's that's pretty good. All right, so now I can actually carry more stuff and I can steal more things if I want to, which is great. Uh, maybe I should buy. I might buy another one of these, but we need the money right now, so I'm not gonna do that. Drifter's boots, high grade, standard grade. Wow, these are actually really good. I'm gonna buy a couple of these. And I'll probably get a black rag shirt. How much is that? Yeah, I'll get that for my stealing, so I can I can wear that, and that'll help me uh, give me a little bit more stealth action. Uh, Drifter's leather pants, two ninety eight. Hell yeah, give me that. All right, not bad. And I might as well get some more boots, high grade Drifter's boots for everyone. Okay, perfect. So, 
I really like the Shinobi Thieves, because you get, uh, anytime they have inventory, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the inventory that they had is cheap. Like, it's 50% off. So, you can, um, you can basically get some pretty good items from them for really cheap. I'm gonna go heal up, though. Ooh, it looks like my attack went up as well. Uh, but yeah, let me heal up a little bit. Let's run back, uh, to our other group. Okay, it looks like we got our walls built, and I don't think people can get through this time, even though the walls are kind of, like, standing off the ground. It's kind of funny how they do that, but... It doesn't really matter at this point, as long as people can't get through. And the other thing we need to build is a... Um... Mining... a, uh, iron refinery over here. Because we're going to be doing some iron... Mining some iron, but we're going to, let's see, is that manual? Yeah, we're going to need six iron plates, which we don't have, so we're going to have to, I guess I'll, I'll pick up some iron plates on the way. Um, I just noticed that it looks like we're about to get sieged over here because we've got a hungry bandit leader and an army of freaking hungry bandits out here about to uh, siege our, our base. Oh, this is interesting. You guys gonna come in or what? Let me open the gates for you. Come right in, hungry bandit leader. <laughs> and now we're gonna close the gates and you're trapped. You probably uh, thought that was a good idea. Oh shit. What? How did they get through my gates? How are they just walking through? Oh, maybe they... Oh, okay. They got through before it was closed. Alright, attack all, everyone. Shit. Uh, crazy. Get down here, man. Torquinator. <laughs> attack all. Amistein is down. Wow, we got a big battle going on. Hold on, where's Darth at? Okay, Darth is over here. Damn, take this off, man. Ah, oh, you can't. I think we got this. I don't think we have to worry. Alright. Good job. We got a bunch of them outside, though. They're not hammering down our gates, luckily. Good job, Darth. Everybody's going strong. Okay, Night Fury's up here uh, attacking the ones coming through the gate. That's amazing. Yeflin doing some damage. Wow, Lady Sharky's just cutting them all down. Mr. Killer right in the middle of it. Okay, uh, Amistein is down. Apple is going to be down if she gets hit in the chest. Oh, damn, she's down. Alright, uh... Twerkinator is taking a beating here. Uh-oh. Wow, Night Fury. Oh, Night Fury's down. I've come too far to let you kill me now, says Crazy Lizard. <laughs> and he's back up. Uh-oh. Uh, we're in trouble, guys. Oh, shit. I better get my, uh... Hold on, let me get my character running. Uh, we might need to rescue. Rescue mission here. Yeflin is, uh, got no arm. Can't do anything here. Uh-oh. Wow. They broke through our gates, and... Alright, Lady Sharky's getting back up. Whoa, she's flying. <laughs> Take him from behind. Mr. Killer is still going strong, though. This is insane. Alright, Mr. Wolf, are you getting up? Come on, keep getting up, guys. Yeah, Darth is back up. Come on, don't take that from him. Damn it, Darth is down again. Alright, Mr. Wolf is back up. Alright, anybody dying here? Uh, Apple is in trouble. Uh... 
Raise these back up. Come on. Just a couple. Just got to take a few down. There you go, Lady Sharky. Get him right in the corner. Nicely done, guys. Come on. Bam! Look at this. Oh, well done. Well done, guys. Wow. Paint the walls red. Holy shit. Look at all this blood. Alright, who's dying here? Anybody? Uh, Yeflin. Let's see. Not too bad. Yeah, everybody's okay, it looks like. Alright, everyone's healed except for uh, Lady Sharky with the leg. We're gonna need Darth over here to medic uh, the robotic limbs, but yeah. Now, the only thing is that beak things and other animals are attracted to corpses, so we need to get a corpse furnace going um, as quick as we can, to be honest. But the biggest thing is really just healing people. We only have two beds right now. We're gonna need to get a couple more sleeping bags until we can build some beds. I don't even know, can we build a regular bed? Where's the interior at? Ugh, each one costs four fabric, but I think we have some fabric. So yeah, let's go ahead and get one. Get a bed going here. Crazy Lizard has one fabric, and I think Darth does too. Yeah, oh, we can build two. Let me build another bed. There we go. That way we'll have enough beds. Oh, and they require a building material, but that's all right. My character is getting chased by beak things. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, come on, run, run fast. Don't, oh, okay. Oh god. These things are nuts. I hate them. And we're wounded bad, so we can't take these guys down. That's the problem. Alright, hold on. Let me transfer everything over. Need to, uh, weight myself down as much, uh, become weightless if possible. These things have 34 run speed, though. Oh my goodness. Oh no. God. Ugh. How are we gonna... Alright, somebody open the gates, I guess. Let's see if I can run through. Alright, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Apple, get out of the way. Come on. Go back, go back. Everybody, just get back. Come on, get through the gates. Alright, close the gate, close the gate. There we go. Oh, shit. One got through. Oh, no. Oh, we're gonna die. <laughs> This is gonna be bad. Alright, get in there, everybody. Where am I going? Come on. Go over here. Oh, Jesus. Get over there and attack this thing. Alright, I don't want to hold, that's why. Alright. Amistein, oh no. Yeah, get out of there, Amistein. Oh! Come on, take it down, quick! Okay, good job, guys. Wow. Well, it's a good thing that we were able to kill this beak thing, because, uh, and it's a good thing the other ones didn't come in as well, but, yeah, it looks like this one's running away. Uh, as you can see, beak things are pretty, uh, they're pretty nasty. They do a lot of damage and area damage, so you kind of, like, the strategy to fight these things is basically to send in only a couple people at a time to fight them, because they... Since they do area damage, you can see they, they can hit multiple targets. Um, so they can take out your entire squad pretty easily. But uh, I don't know if it's this new update. Uh, it seems like it's a little sluggish. So I don't know if you might have noticed some slowdowns a little bit earlier in the video. I apologize for that. But sometimes with uh, being on the experimental branch, it brings in uh, a lot of bugs and stuff from the previous version. Um... That the developer might have missed because once the developer fixes some things other things get broken and that's kind of like the never-ending story with game development but 
Uh, we're going to have to do something with these corpses here because that's going to uh, definitely attract some attention. But luckily we've got uh, some beds uh, built here. Uh, let's see. Let's get Mr. Killer uh, a building material. And let's have him run over here and finish up this bed real quick. That'll give us four beds, or two beds and two sleeping bags. Um, so that way we can get people healed up. And uh, we're going to need to build a corpse disposal furnace and some other things. But I think what we'll need to do is get some building supplies. We need iron plates, actually, uh, to build out this... Uh, uh, iron refinery so that we can start making our own iron plates so I think what I'm gonna I'm gonna do is run over here to the uh, way station up here um, we haven't discovered it yet but I should be able to get a few iron plates oh I got boots for everyone as well also let me run over here to the research bench and drop off these research books There we go. Now we can research a few more things here with uh, Crazy Lizard. Let's uh, let's get him back from sleeping and see what we can research. All right, we can go right for tech level three, which is pretty good. Um, let's see. Oh, we definitely. I'm gonna do all the farming, farming stuff. Sake, grog, and oh, okay, we need rum brewing. So we definitely need more books. But we'll get him working on that. I'm going to run over, try to sell some stuff. Sell the rest of these kits. And maybe I'll grab a couple other things too. Yeah, I'll grab all of that. Uh, all the animal skins from the beak thing. And uh, one of you guys mentioned that this way station over here actually has uh, some robotic limbs. There's a skeleton in here that sells them. So I want to check that out. This might be a good spot to get some uh, better rep replacement limbs in the future. So I really appreciate all the comments you guys leave. Um, definitely helps me and other players as well. Um, because a lot of things change from patch to patch. You know, from... Uh, not patch, but from update to update. And some things I don't always uh, know about until I uh, find it out in the world. So... Let's see, basic furniture. Oh, we definitely want that. It's 500, though. Not bad. We're going to need some iron plates. But uh, let me get the basic furniture. And... Basic furniture and random furniture. Because this gives us all kinds of new building stuff, like support beams, interior walls. And the basic furniture gives us uh, benches round tables, small tables, and things like that. So a little, that's pretty cool. Because uh, your people will actually go around and sit in benches and stuff if you put them down. We're also going to need, let's see, iron plates. We need at least six of them. Let's see, two, four, five, six. Yeah, see, I want to make some cactus rum. And then we have, uh, there's grog as well that we can make. Sake. I think sake we were going to use with rice weed to make it. Um, Alright. Uh, somebody said there was a skeleton here with robotic limbs or something. Oh, is he back here? Oh, I almost didn't even see this building back here. Oh, yeah. Holy hell, this guy looks boss. Damn. Skeleton doctor. What is this place? Uh, this is where skeletons can get their permanent injuries fixed up. Probably not much use to you hives. Unless, of course, the fogmen eat your legs off or something. Then I could fit you up with something, uh, some nice new ones. Alright, what do you have? Stealth leg, masterwork. Oh. Plus 25% stealth, 4% athletics. Wow. Skeleton arm right. 9% uh, dexterity, and it has lower percentages for uh, the... So you can see lockpicking is negative 60 on the specialist economy arm, but uh, with that skeleton arm, lockpicking is only negative 16%, so this is definitely a lot better. It lowers your, um, your stealth only 16% instead of 60. 
Uh, so these are pretty decent arms, I guess. And the KLR series arm has a higher... Um, and more of a negative negative penalty to lock picking and thievery, but it's got three percent dex and strength, uh, and an arm bonus. Wow, yeah. So these are some higher grade arms that we can get. So this is a good spot. We're gonna have to come back here, and and get these. We're out of. We don't have the money to be honest. Uh, right now. But yeah. Um, Skeleton leg right. This gives you a um, negative 66% chance of stealth, but it doesn't lower your athletics. Uh, skeleton leg shoddy grade does, but the standard grade doesn't. So we might have to come back for the standard grade and get Torquinator. Let's see, Torquinator has a right leg. So we need a right... Yeah, skeleton leg right. So we need this one, and Torquinator will, won't be as crippled. Because if we look at Torquinator's limb, his athletics is negative 58. So that's kind of... that's pretty bad. That's why he's always limping around. So we gotta get him a better robotic limb at some point. Now a couple of you also suggested maybe turning down the limb... Uh, dismemberment, but I, I really like the limb dismemberment. I think it's a lot of fun at seeing people lose limbs and then having to uh, carry them back to get them a new limb. So I think we're going to keep it like that for now. And I really want to get l new limbs myself. I really hope that they have some sort of amputation system in place later on where you can amputate people's limbs on purpose. Because some of the limbs are amazing, like, uh, that stealth limb is pretty awesome, but there's another one, the scout legs. If you give those scout legs to a hiver, holy hell, if you get two of them, you just run so freaking fast, like, uh, it, it increases your athletics, like the masterwork one, I think it increases, your, each leg increases your athletics by like 30% or something, so, uh, you're basically just like a speed demon. So, anyway, we'll, we'll see. I think uh, Mongrel has a bunch of uh, really good limbs. And also probably Black Desert City. So we'll have to go check that out at some point. But we need to make money first. Uh, because we're not going to be able to steal stuff from Mongrel. Um, because if, if you noticed in that way station that we were at, uh, the skeletons don't need sleep and they don't need to eat or anything. So they just stand there forever. And you can't steal from them, pretty much. Uh, I think they'll detect you. Unless you have, like, super high stealth, maybe you can get away with it. I don't know. But for the most part, you're not going to be able to steal any limbs from them. So uh, we're going to have to buy them. Uh, in other areas, we might be able to get them, like the swamp area, uh, where that one limb, that KLR limb was. We would probably be able to steal that one, but... Uh, for the most part, they've made the, the limbs kind of more difficult to steal since the uh, the uh, the place that the uh, ro uh, the skeletons are in, they're not sleeping and they're standing right in front of what you would steal. So there's kind of like no way to not get seen. But anyway, we're going to run back to Moonshine and uh, see if we can get this iron refinery built. Alright, made it back to base. Close that. All right, let's go back over here and uh, get this iron refinery built. Okay, we got the iron refinery done, so we'll be able to mine this iron and make some iron plates. And that will keep us going here, because uh, we get a lot more stuff that we need to build now. Um, in the next episode, we're going to finish up this building over here, and we're going to be placing down some storage uh, boxes so that we can store a lot of the stuff from the farms that we get. So in the next episode, we should be able to expand our base here and get stuff, uh, get farming, and see if we can start making some, <laughs> some grog and stuff. Hopefully in the next episode, we'll, we'll see how we do. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more Kinshi in the future, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new episodes. And uh, we've got lots more to come. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.